All right. In this video, we're going to learn how to find the volume of a rectangular prism. And for this example, we have a rectangular prism right here. It's 8 by 9 by 6. 8 represents the length, 9 represents the width, and 6 represents the height. And to find the volume of a rectangular prism, the first thing you have to understand is what is volume? And so volume is trying to identify how many unit cubes does it take to make that rectangular prism. So in our example, you can see right now we've got just one unit cube and we're going to gradually add on unit cubes until we finally built that 8 by 9 by 6 rectangular prism. So we're going to add on to the width. and Now we have two unit cubes. See that down here? So we have one unit cube, now we have two unit cubes, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there is our width right there. Now we have nine, it requires nine unit cubes to build that uh, rod, let's call it. Okay, so now we're going to slowly build on and add on additional rods to kind of bake, build that bottom floor of the uh, rectangular prism. So how many cubes does it require? Well, right now we have nine unit cubes right here. And then if we add on a unit, another rod, we now have 18, then 27, then 36. So basically the idea is you just take nine, you multiply by four, and that tells you how many unit cubes we have so far. Right now we don't know what the heck this one does. And why is it nine times four? Well, you. We have nine cubes going this way, we have four going this way because we have four rods, and nine times four is 36. So we're going to just keep going and because we want a length of eight. So how many cubes do we have right now, unit cubes? We have nine here, we have eight here, so nine times eight is 72. So what's that one all about? Well, it's basically saying if we want to get to our height of 6, so that's this is the cube uh, rectangular prism we're trying to find out. And basically that 1 is saying like that's like the first floor. We have one floor and there are 72 cubes because 9 times 8 is 72 cubes and we have one of those floors. Now if we stack on an additional floor, so now we have 72 on the bottom, floor. Now we have 72 on this second floor. So we would do 72 times 2 and that would tell us that we have 144 cubes altogether. But we don't have just two floors. We have six floors. So how would we figure out how many cubes are in this rectangular prism? Well, 9 going in one rod, 9 times 8 because we have 8 rods. So 9 times 8 gives us 72 and that's just one floor. Now we have to multiply by 6, and that gives us our total number of cubes, and the answer is 432. So a shortcut for finding the volume of a rectangular prism is to think about finding the area of the base. And that's basically saying find the area of one floor right here. In that case, it's 9 times 8. And how do you get that? It's the length times the width. And then you have to multiply by the height because the height tells you how many floors you have. So 8 times 9 right here is 72. That tells you how many cubes you have on one floor. Then you multiply by 6 because we have 6 floors in this rectangular prism. So the answer is 432 cubic units. In this rectangular prism, we want to find the volume of this 5 by 7 by 9 rectangular prism. And we've learned that what we're going to do is we're going to imagine this to be a one floor rectangular prism. And 5 times 7 is 35. So there's 35 square uh, cube units in one floor. So there's 35 cubes on that bottom floor. And if we have nine cubes, I mean nine floors in this rectangular prism, so five times seven is 35, that's the bottom. 
And we take that 35 and multiply by 9 because we have 9 floors and we get 315 cubic units.